Hey everyone, welcome to the SIU ARC Rhino tutorial series. In this tutorial I'll be going over points and curves. So to start off, uh, I'm going to start with a point. A point is basically the foundation of what makes up all geometry. Uh, two points are what creates a line. Um, you have three or more points, it, creates, it can create a surface. Uh, they're basically what is used to define anything that we use. Usually we don't, uh, I don't use points as often uh, just by themselves, but it's important to note that when you're drawing lines or anything else that it's defined by points and you'll later use points to manipulate lines and surfaces and poly surfaces. So, in, within the Rhino interface, it basically works like a graph Cartesian coordinate system. So if I want to put a point at 0, 0, 0, which is the world origin, I can just type in 0 for the X, 0 for the Y, and 0 for the Z. Hit enter, and that will place a point at those coordinates. I can right click. If I want another point to be arbitrarily, I'll put it 2 in the X, 3 in the Y, and I'll make it 4 in the Z. So that puts it 2 feet over, 3 feet in the Y, and then the Z, it puts it 4 feet up. You can see here on my grid where that point has been put. So not you don't always use um, the coordinate system but it, it, it does become very useful if you want if you know exactly which coordinates you want your um, objects to be you can just type in the coordinates uh, like you would graph in math class so when you pull down you hold this point object on the left there comes up with a variety of icons you hover over them it will show you and kind of tell you what they are. You can set up entire grids by using points. Uh, now I'll just do uh, multiple points. So if I want more than one point on the screen, I can just click around and add points, go into the front viewport, the right viewport, and add different points. When you're in the perspective view and you click it, automatically by default adds the point on the construction plane but I'll just hit enter and escape out of clicking around on points so you can add clouds of points and then what you can do with those is make sure and then we can connect these points by drawing a line so in the command line you can type in line and it gives you various options if you just do line that will come up with a single line. And say I don't want to connect it to any of these points, I just want to place it in space and draw the line. And you should see how it's made up from a start point. So already it's demonstrating that this line is made up of a point and we need another point to finish the line. So one single line is often not that useful. We can go to curve, drop down line, line segments if we want to connect multiple lines. So if I want to connect lines to every single point that I've placed in the window, I'd be much better off using line segments. You can drop down, you can type that into the command line. Another way is this icon over here. If you right click it, it is line segments. If you left click, it's a polyline. Um, the different, I'll show you the difference between that in a little bit. The line segments, you can continuously draw and connect. And you have to make sure that your snaps are down here. Uh, that you have your point snaps on or your end snaps. Ends will snap to the end of a line, but a point will snap to any point that's in the window. To make sure these are on, you go to O snap. If that's not showing up, you just click O snap and then enable you can check that on or off 
And if you don't want to connect to anything, say it's connecting to something, you can always disable and that won't connect to any points. But I want this enabled for now. And then I continue to draw a line connecting these points. So I drew this as one line, but since the command is line segments, each one of these segments is a single line by itself. So you can draw multiple lines at once um, with just one command. Now I'm going to control Z, that's the undo. And get that out of there. If I want them all to be one line from the beginning, um, I can use polyline. So I can draw the same thing, the continuous line connecting these points. Don't have to connect to all the points. Hit enter. And it's important that you hit enter, not escape. If you hit escape while drawing lines, uh, Rhino will automatically delete the line. So I'm drawing a polyline arbitrarily around and I hit escape uh, my line is no good anymore so but what happened with the polyline is that by drawing these all around it is one line and there's ways that we can break this up to become uh, multiple lines uh, I don't really have to get into it right now but the way you do that is the explode command you hit explode all of these lines become line segments so it just depends on what you need at the time sometimes you'll need single lines you need to extract lines or delete them now I can control Z control Z on the explode hit a single line explode it again say I've gone beyond the point of control Z but I've got these lines, or if I drew it with line segments, to get them back together, I can shift, hold shift, and select each one of these lines, and hit join, which is right next to the explode button. Or I could type it into, type join into the command line. And now all these joint lines are back to one line. Move these over. Now I'm going to draw. Also, if you want to snap these to the grid, this tool down here, Snap, will snap to every single point on the grid. So. If I want to snap it to zero 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 and go up and it snaps in the Z grid as well. So snap that in the air. Enter. Draw another one. If I hold shift also while drawing lines it'll make that in it'll basically make it in ortho mode so I think that is more useful sometimes you'll want to have it in ortho mode if you're drawing certain things that need perpendicular straight edges but if you click that off shift clicking will do the same thing I'm going to go ahead and use the copy command. So if I type in copy, it's also down here. And I want to make copies of this line. So since my endpoints are on, it snaps to the end of this line. And I want this to copy over. Another three grid spaces. Okay, so I have three basic lines up in the air. 
that are of varying heights, except for the outer two are the same height. 